Right. Welcome to Granddad's Reviews. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing. Seeing as I do quite a lot of 4K videos, and I'm finding my old computer struggling with that, decided to get something new. So in the box, we've got the Alien Aurora R7. So let's see what's in the box. Unboxing knife. Right, so we're getting into the box. Oh, I've got another box. Let's get this box out of here. See what's in this bit. And the specs on this one, it's the i7-8700, 1070 graphics card, 8 gig, 16 gig of memory. We've got safety, quick start guide, save that for later. Generic mouse. Too bad. Power cable. And it's UK as well. And looks like a keyboard. Smart looking keyboard. That's that bit. Right, unit itself. Is what we get. Nice. And look in the back. Got the graphics card, 1070. One, two, three, four US 3.1, an HDMI, USB C. And one, two, three, four, five, six USB network, USB C. One, two, three, USB, headphones, microphone. Right, let's go and have a look inside. Need to take this screw out. The side opens up. Got the graphics card, processor slots down here for the drives and the power supply swings back in and here is the hard drive right so we've got everything set up and unit just there. So I thought I'd time how long it takes the system to boot now that everything's all set up. So we'll set that off and see what happens. So it uh, took 48 seconds to uh, boot to desktop. So that's not bad. Let's carry on. Right, I've got task manager up on the Aurora R7 and on the CPU as you can see base speed is 
but it's running at about 4.2, 3% utilisation. Only thing about running is obviously the screen um, capture on. Memory showing its speed 2666. And I've got 10 gig available there because there's 16 gig actually in the in the machine. The GeForce, as you can see on the GeForce, got 8 gig, but it's sharing some some of it, 0.2 of it, with the internal GPU. And this is a piece of software that comes pre-installed. And it's basically so you can control the lights on the actual uh, case. So each light, like the front light here, you can change that colour if you want to red or whatever colour you need. And the side colours, you can do the same either side, like so. And you've got themes. In here, which you can pick, which give you different. So down here, thermal controls. Well, as it says there, it lets you customize behavior of thermal management system. Uh, and you got alien fusion. It's just your power settings, basically. And all the usual stuff. Uh, game mode as well so that's the software that comes with it you also get uh, this piece of software from Intel for their rapid storage technology with the Optum memory this has got it's got 16 gigs of Optum memory uh, 13 showing 13 gig there and in here you can Enable, disable, manage it. That tells you all about it there. Memory, you can disable it, performance, preferences. You can have a I'm going to do a rendering test and see how long it's going to render this. Uh, video here it's just one I did of uh, my grandson do some special effects so we'll render this out only lasts just uh, a minute so in the project settings we've got it set to CUDA so I'm going to export media and what we'll do is match source adaptive high bitrate maximum render it's hardware accelerated now someone said if you can change this to 2-bit yeah just go software only okay so, uh, I'll do it there yeah, 540 meg and what we'll do is I'll export and start on here and we'll see how long it takes And off it goes. It says one hour fifty one minutes. We actually did get some use of the graphics cards. So thirteen minutes fifty three so thirteen fifty three it took. All right.
We'll try it on the original computer, see how long that takes. All right, we'll do the same with our original Surface Pro 3. Just go into the project settings. GPU acceleration. Uh, file. Export. Again, hardware accelerated. And we'll press export. We'll see what this one does. See the CPUs at 100%, GPUs at 1%, and it's saying 7 hours 27 minutes. Minutes. Well, now the last three seconds. <sighs> so there we go. This one took fifty three minutes twenty seconds. Well, all I can say is. I didn't think this new computer was quicker, but I suppose that's just a perceived in your mind. But it is nearly 50 minutes quicker than the previous one. That's good. Well, that's my uh, quick review on the Aurora.